Hey guys, out here coming out to you today and Watcher of Realms. Welcome to the video, guys. I'm glad to have you here. Taking a little bit of valuable time outside your day, talking Watcher of Realms with yours truly. Uh, I want to throw a question to you guys, starting things out here. Have you ever waited like way too long to invest in a hero in this game and then you invested and then they made a dramatic impact on your account? Well, I've done that a couple times. Uh, one of them comes to mind. I did a video on Olog and I don't know why. I think, you know what I think it is? The, the reoccurring theme here, and I think I should learn from this. So hopefully maybe a few of you guys can too. You guys are smarter than me though, so you probably already know this. But don't get thrown off necessarily by rarities in this game. There's a lot of good legendary heroes. Uh, cannot dispute that. But sometimes we uh, prioritize when we're triaging who to, uh, who to invest in next. We prioritize the legendaries and we let slip a lot of amazing epics. Now, for example, like I love Broke here. I, I mean, I, I don't want to take shots at anybody, right? Because there's a lot of really good tanks here. But I love Broke here. I love, uh, I love uh, Regulus. Uh, but I was using them over... Uh, Mr. Olog, and I think that Olog is frankly better, you know, I mean, you might agree or disagree, whatever, I mean, they're they're great too, the legendaries, but now I actually use Olog a lot more, I made a whole video talking about why and where I use him in case you missed that one, uh, but, and I already made a video talking about how Dolores is probably one of the best heroes, arguably the best hero in the game, right, and she's an epic too, right, I also made a video talking about Maul and how much I love him. Now, none of these, and Mari, for example, right? So, and the cool thing is, is Maul and, uh, Mari and Olog, excuse me, are, they're freebies. They're freebies. And obviously, Wrath, you know, he's the top fighter in the game. I think I ranked him number four in my, my fighter rankings. Anyway, I digress for a moment here. I guess my point is, there's a lot of incredible epics, even better than a lot of legendaries out there in this game. And we can have the tendency, just as humans, to uh, to to invest in, further invest, aka upgrade, uh, heroes that are just higher rarity, just because they're harder to get. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're better. Okay, so my, my latest lesson here are two heroes that I took to level 50. I took it to level 50 and they already made a dramatic impact on my account, so I'm here to sing their praises to you guys. Let me know if there's any other heroes out there that I may be forgetting and not investing in. Uh, but one of them is Hollow and one of them is Laurel, okay? Uh, Hollow is technically a healer. Laurel is technically a mage. They're both support champions. Uh, and they're both rage regenerators, man. I slept so hardcore on rage regen. I'm going to show you the type of ways that I use both of these heroes on the same team. So, uh, but first I want to go over their, their kits really briefly here. Uh, so, what are they doing here? Again, they're both level 50. I don't think you need to necessarily, at least in the in the mid game, the early game, there's no reason to take them to level 60 uh, or prioritize because we only have so many resources, so much time anyway in this game. Now on Laurel, if you look at really quickly, if you look at her uh, reviews, man, like they suck. You know, they're pretty sucky. I think she's so much better than this, right? Now I want to start with her talent. This is this is it's re it reads wrong, frankly. Increase Rage Regen by one. Additionally, upon death, provide surrounding allies with a restoration of 50% of their Rage Cap. Uh, well, guess what? It doesn't just apply on death. It also applies on when you pull her off, withdraw her from the board, right? So we can strategically withdraw her and boom, everybody's, you know, full or close to in their Rage, in their Ultimate. So that's amazing. I, I really like Laurel. I mean, just for this one talent, for her talent, right? Um, when the skill is activated on her ult, restores 4% of max rage for every two random allies within range every two seconds for 12 seconds, okay? And then on her awakening on A1, uh, during the effect of nature's aspiration, her ultimate reduces damage taken by 20%. And then on her A5, during the effect of her ultimate, restores rage for one more target, okay? So, really good when awakened. I do have her awakened three. I don't have any awakening on a hollow. So, in terms of gear, we really want to get her rage regen up, right? So, I went rage regen. I looked for rage regen uh, on my substats as well, okay? They're not incredibly complex to build uh these these two heroes which is nice as well looking at hollow who is objectively a bit better maybe i would say than laurel but they're both unique they're different you know they're different in terms of they're both rage regen but laurel has that cool death mechanic or 
you know, withdrawal, retreat, like pull her off the board and just rage everybody up uh, and, and ultimate all the enemies. Uh, now, Hollow, I want to start on her awakening as well. I don't have her awakened, but I wish I did because on A1, each healing restores 1% of rage from rage cap. That's, that's awesome, man. I really want to get her awakened. Uh, and then we have Rage Cap minus 100 on A3. And then A5, each Light of Bliss increases the efficiency of accumulating rage by 15% until the battle ends. Stacks up to five times. Whoa. Anybody out there have an A5 uh, on Hollow? Let me know, man. She seems like a beast and a monster. There's a monster outside. A5. Uh, let's worry about A1 before we get to A5, though, huh, guys? So, I have her at level 50 again. On her ultimate Light of Bliss, when triggered, increases the hero's healing multiplier by 45% for 20 seconds, and the hero can cast one, uh, heal one more target, okay? When triggered, increases increases the hero's multi... Uh, <laughs> when triggered, increases the hero's multi healing... Mu oh, come on, man! Learn how to talk. The number one rule of YouTube, Ash. The number one rule! <laughs> On her basic, she's got attack base healing to a single target ally. And then on her passive, this is where it all comes together. When Light of Bliss is activated, the ultimate for 20 seconds, by the way, recovers 1.4% rage for all allies in the range every one second. And it lasts for 20 seconds, okay? So it synergizes again with her uh, with her ultimate. Uh, ergo, when we're building her, we want to make sure that we get some rage regen on her as well. So we have healing effect, we have healing effect, and we have attack bonus. Way to go there, Ash. Way to go. Actually, I want to unequip the attack bonus, and I want to throw her in some rage regen. I don't really care so much about the set here. I mean, obviously, rage regen bonuses would be great, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and throw. Ideally, we'd have some healing bonus because i will say one thing about her guys uh i i read somewhere that she's like basically not a, not a capable healer at all kind of like dolores you know uh but i have to be honest with you she can handle healing in some situations she's not gonna be maybe your main he oh come on man come on She's not going to be your main healer, probably, in most situations, but even Dolores, man. Oh, thank you, honey. I'm sorry you got dragged here. I'm not sitting here again saying that she's like OP uber healer. I'm just saying that they do heal, right? I feel like some people out there, just based on what I read and what I, what I consume and, and watchers, I feel like they penalize single target healers maybe a little bit too much maybe a little bit too much it is attack based healing so we do want to scale her attack for a little bit extra on the heals she can heal an additional target on her ultimate she can do a good job covering an area where maybe it's platform units because you're going to have her surrounded with dps anyway that aren't going to be you're going to be taking ancillary damage she's not going to be tanking she's not going to heal your main tank and artifact raid but she can do a decent job like healing other units, right? So anyway, I found the same thing with Dolores. You know, Dolores, again, it's small heals, but over time you position her on, you know, around DPS that might take a little bit of ancillary damage here and there. She can, you know, bolster them back up, you know? Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if I want to die on that hill. <laughs> the the uh, Dolores is a great healer hill. I'm just saying there's some functionality. You can get what I'm saying. All right, guys, so that's it. So Rage Regen is the name of the game, man. So strong, and I slept on it for so long. What a dummy, what a dummy. All right, so let me just go ahead and do a Gear Raid 1. So what we're gonna do is here, we have an all epic it. Well, how do we get one legendary sneaking in there? Get, let's get Mr. Oh, we already have Wrath. I want an all epic team here. Let's do this. Yona, welcome to the squad. So all epics and what I want to stage 18. And what I want to do is, and we have a pretty low BP as well, right? So I want to show you the strat here of using two rage regen on a team like this. So what we want to do is take Maul, put him over here. We're going to go ahead and set up a Dolores next to him. And then we're going to throw, let's throw Hollow here, right? So we're going to throw our regen as well. So that's one side, okay? On the other side, we are we can go ahead and activate that rage regen right away. On the other side, we're gonna do the same dang thing. Wait, do I have okay, so do I have another DPS? I do. There's one. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, I'm blocking the freaking ultimates. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Ah, ah. Okay, do this over here. Let's go ahead and do this. 
the key to this strategy is we're gonna have Mari up at the top. All right, sorry guys, things got kind of haywire. So what I'm gonna do is slow it down for a second so I can catch up here. Now, I'm not even gonna play anybody else. Only six champions, okay? In this, uh, will be spotlit in today in this battle, right? But watch when I start activating the rage regen. Obviously, we want to try to coordinate everything, right? So that we're regenerating after they use their ultimate. I'm not doing the best job at it, but you can see once we trigger this, look at how fast they start regenerating again, right? So all I'm doing this entire battle is basically popping just ultimate after ultimate after ultimate after ultimate. We have Laurel, we have Hollow, we have the whole team together, we have Dolores, and we only have two DPS and one control out there on the board. Let's go ahead and activate Dolores. Was I a little bit early there? No, we were totally cool. Let's go ahead and do Maul. Let's go ahead and do Mari. Let's go ahead and restart. Look at Maul's rage regen. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's hollow. Totally activated there. Let's go ahead and shoot there. I hope I don't lose this now. I felt like I was a pretty distracted. Uh, let's go ahead and... Should I? You guys don't care, right? I'm going to add Wrath. He was getting lonely over there. So it's a seven-man squad instead, okay? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. How are we doing against the boss here, guys? You tell me. Ooh, we don't have a lot of uh, room left here. Let's go ahead and protect the wall. Protect the wall. Do this. Do this. Do this. Rage regen over here. Get Maul. Maul's activated. Boom. Comes down. We're going to lose the... No, no. Boss down. 57. Make it uh, 61. We lose the wall, but we're going to be okay here. We're going to be okay. Maul finish things off. So there it is, guys. I mean, listen. The crazy thing here is that I did this, you know, with low BP. And it was really on the backs of all those ultimates. And those two rage regenerators, you know? So if you are... And you know what? I, I want to be real. Before I use strategies like these, right? You know what I did? Is I put... I stacked like a bunch of OP DPS legendaries and the dps was was there but i was losing i wasn't using enough ultimates i wasn't utilizing you know heroes like laurel and heroes like hollow so you know odds are a lot of you guys know that these these heroes are very good already but for those of you who don't or have been slacking like yours truly it doesn't just work in gear raid one it works anywhere. I mean, they're a great rage regenerate. Where do you need rage? Where do you need ultimates? Pretty much everywhere. They work in a lot of areas of the game. Consider this. And look at, like I said, only two DPS on the team. Iona and Maul. That's all I had. That's all I had. It's staggering because back in the day, I would run like a Vierna and a Comet and a Iona and a Maul and all these DPS and I wouldn't have the same results. I'd have worse results. So it's not all about DPS. It's about support too and the team chemistry. So guys, hopefully you learned from my mistake. I'm thrilled with both of these. Oh, you know what? Before I let you go, let me do it this. Let me challenge it again, but let me just prove to you in case you were skeptical, which I don't think you guys were skeptical, but just in case you were. Let me prove to you how Laurel works here. So check out the two rage regens. Actually, let's just let's just throw more in there just for the fun of it, right? So uh, we're gonna actually just uh, see. Look at this, 59, 66. Boom. We take her off, and there it is. Everybody has their ultimates up. How cool is that? You can use her literally only for that in the entire battle. You know, you can get a bunch of a bunch of OP DPS surrounding her, and then just take her off the board boom rock the ultimate when she becomes available again you just keep repeating the process that's really really cool laurel is super super cool because of that talent so invest with confidence guys hopefully again i've opened some of your eyes thank you so much for watching till the end of the video and as always take care guys